What's going on, you guys? Got a question. Hey, Lloyd, I've been talking, oh, sorry, I've been approaching women in my everyday life and at social events. However, I have been having trouble knowing if it is going to go well or not. Some girls don't like me and other girls are really into me, but I can never tell before I start talking to them. I don't want to seem like I am bothering or annoying people. Is there a way to figure this out if she wants you to talk to her? Is this something you cover in the approaching system? Thanks. All right, so first of all, yes, dude. Um, this definitely is going to be covered in the approaching system. It's covered very extensively, actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek to answer this guy's question, which is basically, how can you tell before you walk up to a girl if she's gonna be receptive to you or not? All right, so what we're gonna to cover today is the kind of four different types of women that you usually see out, which ones are gonna be more receptive to you, which ones, or which ones should you just kind of like leave alone, okay? Now, I would encourage you guys to not think that you're bothering people so much when you're out. It is a very, very good concern that you, that you have that. I mean, I don't wanna bother somebody or irritate somebody or you know, interrupt them from what they're doing if I don't have to, so like that's something that I really think about. But if you're just walking up and saying hi and being friendly, then usually it's fine. Like you're usually not bothering people. In fact, they would probably welcome somebody to be friendly and positive towards them. Like if I see someone uh, or some a girl that I think is cute or so whatever, she's in the middle of something. Um, I say hi to her and then I'm, I see that she's you know busy or whatever. I'm just like, hey, cool, sorry to bother you. And then I go away, wish her a happy day, and you know usually that gives them maybe a little bit of a smile. I don't know who would get annoyed by that. Now. Obviously, there's going to be some women that are going to be more likely to, you're interrupting them, and you know, I usually like to wait for those kinds of women. So that's the first situation that I'm going to talk about, is where if you see some women or a woman that you're interested in, and they're talking, and they're really, really into the conversation, or they kind of have their backs turned, and they're kind of all in a circle, I typically don't approach those groups of women. You know, they're very interested in what they're talking about, for you to maybe tap them on the shoulder and have them turn around all the way to you, like it's just, it's not gonna go well. Um, it's, sometimes it does actually, sometimes that you find women that are very interested in the conversation, they'll be like, hey, how's it going? Um, but I would say I would normally wait for them to start looking around and start having their body language be a little bit more open uh, before I walk up and talk to them, okay? So sometimes it works, but uh, I would usually wait for them to be a little bit more open, okay? That brings me to the second one, which is, yes, they're talking to each other, they're very interested in what they're doing, but their body language is a little bit more open. Like, maybe they're looking around a little bit, not necessarily at you, but they're open to having somebody else uh, come up and talk to them, or maybe they're hoping somebody will, okay? They're just kind of seeing what's out there. If I see that, then yeah, I will walk up and say hi. I don't know if they're necessarily interested in me, but it's definitely worth going and trying it out. Okay, so I would walk up, just say hi, maybe ask them how they're doing, introduce myself, um, and then if they stick with it, like they're still giving me their attention, or if there's, they start looking over at other people, then I'd probably move on to somebody else who is going to give me their attention, okay? And sometimes at the beginning, you guys, like, you got to push past a little bit of, like, sometimes they'll be distracted, or uh, the natural tendency is for them to go back to what they're doing. But if their body language is still open towards you, you know, that's still a pretty good sign you can keep talking to them. All right, um, now the third one is where they're looking at each other, they're, in, they're engaged in what they're doing, but they will glance over to you. So they'll kind of, like, do this. It's, it'll be very subtle. It'll be just something like, it'll be, the, you know, that's it. Okay, now if you get this, you should definitely walk up and talk to this girl, okay? At least say hi, introduce yourself, because if she's looking at you, she's probably checking you out. Women are very subtle about this, and most men don't perceive when a woman is actually like checking them out. Like, I know I couldn't pick up on this when I first started going out, but when I walk into a room, when I walk into a bar, if I'm being perceptive, like I can usually get a pretty good idea about which, which women are kind of like uh, receptive towards me or my presence. Now, I really don't get checked out by women like that hardcore that much. Um, but I can tell if they're more open towards me. And so you'll get better, at, and I go over this more in the approaching system about how to do that. Um, but that's something you should look for. And definitely, like, if she makes a glance like that, sure, there's a chance she made a mistake or if she wasn't really, like, checking you out. But it's still worth saying hi. Cool. Uh, and then the last one, number four, is the best one you can possibly get. This one is the most rare, which is she looks at you, holds eye contact, and smiles. If you get this, Dude, you have to walk up and talk to her. Uh, if you're single and you, and you think she's cute and you don't say hi, I want you to pick up your phone, dial my number, call me up, tell me where you are, I'll drive to where you are, 
and I'll slap you in the face because that is a golden opportunity that you just passed up. Like if a woman does that to you, you just miss the opportunity to talk to somebody possibly amazing who might think you're amazing too. Okay, so yeah, if that happens, that's a really confident thing. I'd say most women don't do that. I've only have had it happen to me like, God, I, I can't even count the number of times it's happened to me, um, but it hasn't been a lot. So. If that happens to you, yes, walk up and, you know, most women are not confident enough to do that. Like, I actually tell my female friends if they're interested in a guy to do that, and they're, they, a lot of them, they, 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 they're, they're shy. They don't, they don't want to do it. So if someone does that to you, it not only means that they're really interested in you, but they're also a very confident person. So, yeah, those are the four types of women. Those are well, not the four types of women. I mean, it's just kind of like the stages that they're at when they're out. Um, one woman might be in one situation where she's really intense in the conversation, and then the next minute she might be open to talking to somebody. You know, you never know. And so that's why I encourage guys to say hi to a lot of people, figure out which people are getting, giving the energy back to you, and that's really how it's done. Uh, I wouldn't spend so long trying to figure out, oh, is she, may, uh, maybe she might be interested, maybe she may not be interested. Just walk up and say hi and see what happens. If she wants to talk to you, then she'll talk to you. Cool. All right, you guys, if you're interested in purchasing the approaching system, I highly recommend you do it. Again, there's going to be a full, more in-depth explanation on this. And the lowest prices are happening right now. We're going to have the low prices until probably Thursday. And then it's going to double or maybe even triple after that. So I highly recommend that you purchase that now. Thanks a lot, you guys. And I'll see you on the inside. Oh,